Hey there, thanks for stopping by for another Incarnate video. Today is a special, special video. The Incarnate team just had their mint. So I picked up a few of them and I'm going to, in other games, summon them. But in this game, I'm gonna call them from the void. Let's jump right in. So even though the reveal event happened a couple days ago, I've been holding off to call these from the void because I wanted to record this video. I'm looking for a few parts just because I really like them. I would really love to see something like Convict or Caldera on my mind piece. I love the ability raised to try to control the board and bring people in, uh, and then uh, pair that with a Taunt uh, Eternal. And one of my favorite souls is Iajitsu. So if I get any of those parts, I'm probably gonna be pretty happy uh, just seeing those. So we're at incarnategame.com slash reveal. And uh, yeah, let's let's uh, call some incarnates. So there's my collection. I picked up five of them. And uh, let's go for the first one. Let's see. We'll go, go this one right here. All right, so what do we get? A rare one. Okay, it's definitely got a Nazari head. It's got a Titan body and a Titan soul so that that looks pretty good i like titans and nazari so having them mixed up uh, is pretty good we'll go ahead and uh look at each of them individually and in depth uh once i summon all of them so let's go for another one. Oh, a legendary <laughs> yes i heard that there was only about like 25 or something legendaries that people minted and uh, only some of them have been claimed via just discord so <laughs> i guess that is uh, a little bit of luck for maybe maybe reward for being involved in the project a little early so that's pretty cool let's see it's got uh void watcher head titan uh titan soul and it looks like uh possibly a nazari uh body so that could be pretty cool that could be uh something like pyroclasm on the the uh soul there uh, we'll take a look in a couple minutes. All right, let's get into the next one. I can't believe I got a Lego. Ooh, an epic. All right, I'll take it. Oh, and that's a female one too. I love the female incarnate models. Uh, they're super fun. Uh, they, the team did a great job putting those together. So another Nazari based uh, incarnate. It looks like a definitely a Nazari soul and a Nazari mind. So possibly Bane up there, which would be really cool. That actually might be Iajitsu, so I'm pretty excited to see that one too, because that's one of the ones I definitely wanted. All right, let's take a look at the fourth one, or third, yeah, fourth one here. Another epic, what the heck? Oh my gosh, I think there was uh, only 5% chance to summon a legendary 35 uh, for, or maybe 30 for the epics, and uh, 65 for the rare, so <laughs> pretty, pretty damn good luck here for the pulls. But Archon base, so that's really cool. I never really, I haven't played the Archon too much, um, but they they are pretty fun to play when I when I did play them. So I'm I'm excited to see that build. All right, last one. Let's see what's let's see what we got. Another epic. What the heck? Three epics, a legendary, and a rare. That's insane. All right. Well, <laughs> I'm pretty I'm pretty blown away by seeing. <laughs> that that good of a pull from five uh calls here so uh what what we're gonna do here next we're gonna go ahead and take a look at them real quick and then we're gonna hop onto my website so we can just uh kind of go in detail in detail what they are so if you go to denofbluebeer.com slash incarnate dash builder i have created a web page that you can start building your incarnates and just getting a feel for what the game's all about uh, especially if you have not played in the alpha uh, and this might hold you over until the, the uh, closed beta starts in a couple days. Um, but it's a way for you to start looking at builds and thinking about what kind of combinations you might want to make and just seeing the overall max stats that your incarnate can uh, achieve. So your stats on the right hand side here are, are the max stats that you can get at a six star level 60. Uh, I've also included the uh, eternal cost uh, of each of the eternals on the bottom right hand corner here. And then an EP cost or eternal point cost in the top left for the overall incarnate. Uh, just know that this tool will not tell you if you've uh, spent too many eternal points. So uh, just be aware that your EP cost needs to be lower than your uh, EP that you get from your build. 
uh, if you want to make a valid uh, build here. So let's go through these, uh, you know, and give a one minute overview, I guess, of each of these. Um, because it'll give you a feel for the primals and it'll give you a feel for how you can build in uh, in this game. So uh, this is my first one. It's, uh, let me refresh that here. There we go. So this is the Cruelest Black, it's the Epic. And her gifts are heals allies that teleport you. Uh, heals allies that teleport you, 5% max HP and then gain 5% initiative when you teleport. So this one's uh, going to be uh, certainly a teleport heavy build. And does that make sense? <clears throat> yeah, it does. Because rain, you get to teleport to the highest target space in your uh, presence as long as it's above you. So that's really cool. Uh, I love it because it's an AOE ability. Um, even though it's a rare part, it's uh, really solid. Event Horizon, again, another teleport ability. So teleport to the highest uh, target space. So you get to actually select the space that you want to teleport to as long as it's the highest space. So if you have all, a lot um, a lot of par uh, tiles that are higher than you, you get to choose. So that's really good. Uh, the really cool thing about this uh, Eternal here, command, of the co command the Cosmos, is you get to double your height advantage. So basically, if I have a really high pillar and I'm going to use rain to get up there, I'm going to see instead of being, let's say, six tiles above my enemy, it'll be like I'm a... 12 tiles above my enemy and that's going to give me a huge huge damage increase so this is a really fun build because we'll get to teleport around and uh, be really mobile uh we have a good we have we have okay hp that's not super high um it's it's kind of a i feel like it's going to be more of a glass cannon type build um especially with the higher attack this is one of the higher attacks um that i've seen uh as well so that's good then iujitsu is by far i think my favorite uh, ability in the game i just love the animations and the style of it uh, but you get to teleport so you teleport in a line and you attack all enemies in that line so very uh teleport heavy build uh the really cool thing is if if you're high above uh with skull crush you're going to put the enemy's uh mind on cooldown and whenever you teleport to a new space i'm going to create a clone so theoretically if i put doppelganger on here let's see if i can go ahead and uh show you that doppelganger uh i have a 50 percent chance of switching places with my clone so we the enemy should not know where i am half the time so it's going to be a guessing game and uh it's gonna be really cool so I, I actually really like this build i love the ability to teleport around and stuff like that and the gifts really really synergize well um uh, with that so that's gonna be really cool Okay, next one. Uh, this is going to be uh, Kano Rift. It is the epic kind of um, Archon based build. So let's check it out. So Convict, um, again, one of my one of my favorite mind parts in the game. Uh, I, <laughs> I, it's one of the ones that I really wanted. Uh, it's an AOE uh, that's based on your presence and it's got a really high presence, so that's really good. So you face the enemies towards you, uh, so you turn them all basically around, and you blind them so they can't attack. So with a high presence, uh, and them not being able to attack enemies for one turn, it's a really, really strong um, support and crowd control ability. So that's really cool. Um, raise, uh, again, one of my favorite parts. Uh, even though it's a rare, I really like the ability to um, kind of pull people into me and burn them so the burn is one of my favorite moves it spreads across uh enemy incarnates as long as they're right next to each other so this allows you to pull them closer to you and keep them bunched up and if you pair it with another incarnate that has something like uh i think uh, caldera where you get to root um or maybe that's barbican uh, i'll have to check that out but where you get to root everybody uh, you get to basically keep everybody in place and spread the burn really just all over the place so it's really nice uh and then geokinesis raise your space by two then attack all enemies in range with bonus from defense after attacking raise all spaces at the edge of your presence by one so uh, again it's going to be kind of a, a defense kind of tanky build which is really really cool because uh, you're actually going to be able to do a decent amount of damage uh, but also be really tanky you've got pretty high hp pretty good defense and uh, we've got some really cool um eternals that are paired up with this so increase the distance you push and pull by one 
So that raise instead of pulling two spaces is gonna pull three. So I get to be closer to my enemies, which I actually want in this case. Because if I go ahead and put on uh, my, my Titan uh, here and put on challenge, whenever you attack an enemy that you are directly in front of, you can taunt them for one turn. So getting them closer and being adjacent and in front of them, you can attack them, you can actually apply that taunt. So um, it's a really kind of cool synergy and stuff like that. Um, and then power glove, push enemies one space after you attack them. So this, this thing is going to be, um, crazy, just moving people around, either pushing them away from us when we attack or pulling them in when we have that raise or applied. Uh, I really like the build. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain with this one. This has got two of my favorite parts in the game, uh, and they synergize really well here. So I'm, I'm happy with that one for sure. All right, so we're gonna go to the next one, uh, Rylock Tower. He's the rare that I pulled, the only rare somehow that I pulled out of five, uh, but he's the only rare I pulled, and uh, we're gonna take a look, look at him. So Bane, Bane's gotta be one of the best uh, mind abilities in the game. Uh, so that's uh, uh, really cool. You get to burn and terror. Uh, so you place a burn on people, and you get to make them flee on their next turn. It's got kind of a small presence, uh, but that's okay, I mean, uh, it's still a really powerful uh, part to have on your uh, incarnate and it's got really high EP So we're gonna actually be able to get some really powerful Eternals equipped onto this um, this incarnate uh, Frenzy so taunt all enemies in area you gain giant thorns and sharp So again another kind of tankier build and ramparts a really cool uh, multi-hit uh, uh, depending on the scenario um, part uh, that's based out of the Titan or that comes out of the Titan class uh, so if you're adjacent to them, you get to attack again. Uh, if you're also facing them uh, or on their flank, you get another attack. So you can get really three attacks, uh, attacks out of this. Uh, the great thing about that is with Meteor Smash, your first attack, you're actually going to go ahead and hit and uh, lower the space of the enemy incarnate. Now, if you're on level ground, there'll be one tile lower than you. With Rampart, now you get to hit them three times. And if we're attacking from above, we are putting their mind ability on cooldown for one turn. Um, so it's just, it, it's again, another another good uh, build that has a lot of synergy and stuff like that. Uh, so this one is gonna be whenever you're pushed or pulled for after image, leave a clone in the space you left. So really, again, being a tanky build, you're gonna be kind of up close and personal. So you're gonna be facing other tanky builds that are gonna be pushing and pulling you. So. Now it's gonna be harder to tell which one is my actual tank if that happens. Uh, what I wanna take a look at though is the gifts. So shocking, gain 5% initiative when you apply or receive terror. So that works really well with Bane. Uh, abominable, gain 15% resist or penetration while receiving or applying terror. So it's really heavy, gonna be uh, really heavy on that Bane part. So I'm gonna to have to work out how to um, get Bane to cycle more often with this build because those gifts are really, really um, powerful to, to get terror. So basically, if I if I can do it right, I can actually start locking people out um, indefinitely because I can cycle that mind ability uh, so fast. Uh, so another good build, I really like that one as well. All right, so we're gonna go on to the last uh, epic, uh, of the three that I pulled, Gorzo Plus. Uh, female, so that's really cool. Um, don't have, I, I didn't make a lot of females because they came out late, but I, again, I really like the models and stuff like that. So let's take a look at this one. Gorefire, Feral Instinct, and Hunger Gorefire. Again, one of the best, um, in my my opinion, uh, kind of common abilities. It's really strong. Applying a bleed and a burn, you're going to do uh, damage over time with those. It, it is only for one turn, uh, but you do get an attack off it as well. Um, so not a super tanky build. Um, you got mediocre HP, defense is really low, and attack is kind of mediocre as well. So it looks like we're gonna be playing with, um, let's see. Okay, so this is this is kind of cool. It's gonna be based off of uh, an uh, uh, HP uh, build. So hunger um, increases uh, or decreases your max, uh, your target's max HP by 20% of the damage that you do, and then you gain that much up to 100% total gain. So you're gonna do damage to the enemy um, based on your, uh, I'm sorry, you're gonna reduce their max HP based on your damage. And then you're gonna go ahead and increase your own max HP. So that basically starts um, cycling and stuff like that because we're gonna get more damage, which is gonna cause them to lose more max HP. 
Um, so it's, I don't know, it's, that's that's a really cool ability. Um, again, one of the stronger ones in the game. So whenever you attack, lose 5% of your HP and add it to the damage of the attack. So again, we're playing off of that hunger. So it's going to be a really heavy hunger build uh, for sure. Let's take a look at the gifts and see what they, um, go ahead and, and um, apply here. So massive increase or decrease the duration of heavy you apply or receive by one turn. Okay, so that's good. Uh, Cause that goes ahead and synergizes with, uh, where is it? Um, here, Colossal Defense. So it's synergizing with the Eternal here. Um, and Sanguine, increase or, reduce, increase or reduce the duration of bleed you apply or receive by one turn. So again, we're gonna be placing that bleed uh, on Gorefire and uh, it's also going to stack with the flurry, so you get to counterattack with the bleed. So if you can keep that bleed on, uh, again, it's only for one turn. Uh, so maybe this isn't the strongest build. Um, uh, this is probably my least favorite build out of all of them, uh, but it's it's still not a bad build. Okay, let's go to the last one, which is the legendary. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe I pulled a legendary, but uh, here we are. <laughs> so, uh, Anuzo, uh, let's take a look at the abilities, Enthrall, Feral Instinct, and Pyroclasm. Pyroclasm uh, hits pretty good, pretty hard uh, for a soul ability. It's one of the harder hitting ones in the game. Uh, Feral Instinct, clean all your debuffs and give you, uh, you and your um, allies Vamp, which is a lifesteal, um, for two turns, and you get to disappear for a turn, so that's pretty cool. And enthrall, attack all enemies in line four from you on both flanks with a massive, um, with a bonus from max HP and bleed uh, them for two turns. So then you also get to create a zombie behind each enemy that died. So if you kill them, you get zombies. Uh, it's really good. Because uh, zombies are kind of minions. Uh, I didn't play them much in the alpha, but um, I definitely am excited to start playing them in the closed beta because we're not going to reset. Uh, all right, so let's look at the Eternals, Misery Love Company. Whenever you attack, lose 5% of your HP and add it to the damage, okay? Counterattack enemies that have bleed, so that's gonna play off of Enthrall. And challenge, whenever you attack an enemy that you are directly in front of, taunt them for one turn. So kind of a tankier build again. Um, gonna be This is actually gonna be a really, really good build. Uh, I think end game, uh, you have a lot of good HP. That's really high HP. The defense is kind of low. Um, but you also have decent, uh, attack as well. So you've got high HP, decent attack, uh, and you're going to basically start trying to play around that max HP type of build. All right, let's take a look at the gifts. Sanguine, increase or reduce the duration of bleed you apply. So that's cool because you're going to end up bleeding if you can get people in a line, uh, and you're, that's going to cause more counterattacks with flurry. So that's really nice. Uh, ruthless enemies will bleed, lose an additional 15% defense against you. Okay, so that's really nice because we should be bleeding people in this build, and um, you know they're going to take more damage. And it's just <laughs> the long and short of it. Uh, so yeah, we get a burn, we get bleeds, uh, we get a life steal, we get some counterattack, uh, we get more more damage um, based off of uh, doing more attacks, and just this i think this is i mean it's a legendary build right so it, it is pretty strong i think it's going to be um definitely end game viable um but i'm trying to think what's my favorite favorite build um it's tough i think i you know i think the uh rain event horizon iajitsu build is is probably my favorite one out of all of them and that's in a that's an epic uh build and it's got really cool uh, female uh character <laughs> You got some healing, you got a good amount of damage, a good amount of attack here, um, and you get to teleport all around the map, so that's going to be really fun. Uh, so I'm I'm super happy with all the 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 pulls or, or calls that I had. Um, I I'm still in shock that I got this lucky to get three epics and and, and a legendary out of a five um, uh, five primals. So, um, anyways. Uh, this is the site again, uh, denablueberry.com. I'm trying to build it. I'm not a developer uh, by any means. Um, so I'm trying to do the best I can to give people resources where they can come look up information. Uh, the Primal Incarnates, uh, you can see it's <laughs> it's definitely a work in progress. I should have that up pretty soon, but what it'll do is it, it will show you all the Primal Incarnate builds. There were 125 of them that we could have gotten. 
So it's just a big long list of all the primal incarnate builds that are uh, in the game. So you can have fun, go check those out and uh, see which ones you would have liked to pull. Uh, but also just keep in mind that uh, because these are NFTs, they are minted on a blockchain and they can be sold. There are some being sold right now for um, uh, uh, Ethereum cryptocurrency on OpenSea. Uh, you can go to the Discord and check for the official links for the OpenSea link there. Uh, and if you don't really know what that incarnate does, come to the page, do a search on the page and uh, find the name and it'll pop up here. You'll, you, and then you can take a look at what all the skills are and the gifts that they have. So, um, because OpenSea doesn't give you a lot of that data, although the marketplace that incarnate, uh, the incarnate team skeleton hand is developing, um, we'll have a lot more of that information, but for now in the interim, you can definitely come to the site and check it out to see if it's something you want to purchase. Anyways, I think I've rambled enough. Uh, thanks for watching. I had a ton of fun calling these, uh, incarnates. I'm pretty excited and happy about the polls. And uh, I really hope to see you in the closed beta that should be starting in a couple of days.